You should get to the point where anybody Everybody else will quit. You're not gonna stop there. Yes, you can! Stop giving up. Saving your ruined campaigns. My favorite series for sure. And today we are gonna go and try fixing this Team Words Empire, which seems to be a quite big and strong country. But when you go inside the game, you'll see that it's not even close to that. But first, let's go in here. What is the current situation? Hey Slavik, I've been trying to get better at the EU4 but continue to resign my games. I really want to achieve my first world conquest as I currently have time to do it. I decided to play as team Ritz to accomplish this goal. Unfortunately, I am still losing. I hope you will consider saving my campaign so I can learn what I'm doing wrong. I really thought I had it this time. Also guys, you're trying to reach 90,000 subscribers this year, so remember, if you'd like to get notified about the new series or videos from this series, subscribe to the channel, because I can see that only 40% of you are subscribed right now. And situation is richly tragic. We've got 16 corruption and still increasing because of the unbalanced research. Uh, minus 80 prestige, no legitimacy, minus free stability, bankruptcy for the next two years, and inside the bankruptcy another 7 loans for 5000 ducats, for which you are paying 46 of interest because during the bankruptcy and minus free stability. Oh no god! No! You don't take loans. You, you end up with this kind of interest per annum. We are just 9 technologies behind. This is fine, definitely fixable. And for the ideas, we are not only 5 ideas here behind, but another 7 here. We should be having this fully unlocked. So that makes 12 ideas behind. Well, on top of that, we also have a coalition against us, which might attack us as we are bankrupt, but at least uh, we are having one strong ally of Akuyun, so they are definitely gonna protect us. Another issue that I'm seeing is the GAF capacity. With Adrian Ideas being over the GAF capacity, that's really tough to do. So the state setup is gonna be actually fairly important with this GAF capacity situation. So I'm gonna start with destating some of the less useful provinces, especially on the North Seeds. State income is 0.7 and we are paying for this 0.7, 18 GAF capacity. That's not you just another 29 and another 43. So with these differences, we are already exactly on our GAF capacity, but I would say that we need to destate even more. So just that's why I'm just gonna destate this. I think everything except the pressure node around here should be destated because we want to build up trade companies around here and this fix our GAF capacity situation. Second step is to create a trade company, but I'm not gonna just add everything to trade company because we'll be just over the GAF capacity. Instead of that, I'm all gonna go and add all of the trade centers to trade company. So number one and number two, that's not our number three. Then another one over here. You just need to remember that nothing in the Persia subcontinent can be added to a trade company, so everything else can be. That's why, for example, in the Samarkand, there are also plenty of provinces that we should be adding to a trade company. This way, we're gonna minimize the usage of our GAF capacity with maximizing income coming out of it. Yes, now it's minus 45 because we just have simply less stated land. So that was expected. But now what we have to focus on is to get merchants from the different trade companies. So we have already one from the Maastricht company. The next close one is gonna be Gulf of Adam. We have 38% of the trade power, so this one. So to achieve that, we should try actually adding a couple of more provinces within this trade company to just maximize the trade power that we're having so we can unlock another merchant. I was just happy that the coalition got dissolved. But I think it's not even coalition. It's Georgian war for independence that attacked me. So it's Georgia, Astrakhan and Kazakh. <laughs> My vassals allied each other to fight me. Mm, that should be actually fine. What I will have to do... That's so bad. What I will have to do is to actually just uh, go behind and wait for my... Oh my god, why have... Oh. That's why we are paying so much ar from our army. We over our force limits and we have freaking calf inside those stacks. Just gonna get rid on all of the calf stacks and unite my troops 
And this way, I believe, we should start saving a little bit more of the money, because it's just unacceptable that we're having this amount of the calf. Tick, tick, tick. Now we're paying only 30 tackets for that. So that's far better, but we still need... To <laughs> we still need to get rid of more of the horses. Come on, like, who needs this amount of the horses? Let's unite all of those guys in one place. And we are also no longer over the first miss. It's just, guys, tragic. But we are gonna fix it as always. As for the trade, what if we transfer trade power from Hormuz to Basra? In Persia, it's fine, but I'll also start collecting for more power. Transferring from Lahore from Gujarat, what if we transfer from Gulf of Aden instead of Persia? Oh no, look at this. We have control of the monetary policy. That's plus 5%. All power scores, that's not gonna make this easier. <laughs> not to mention 6% crownland, so yeah, the autonomy sinks very quickly during the war time. Gonna cry? And rebels are of course all around the country, so you know, it's not gonna be too easy for us. Oh, this is gonna be so tragic. I think with our money situation, we don't need level 3 advisor, even if he's 50% cheaper. Let's just make this guy, and here in the admin, we do really need to find a guy that is giving us national address. Also, I managed to get a second merchant from Gulf of Aden this time, and I'm gonna go and send him to either Ethiopia or Coromandel. But let's start with Coromandel because there's more money waiting there. <laughs> Look how many rebels we have here, here more rebels, even more here, another stack here. Oh, we're just getting so screwed by them. <laughs> so it will be harder, of course, Ottomans gave 25 freaking thousand of condottieri to Astrakhan, you know, because it wasn't hard enough without it. And the coalition is forming against us again. And it's not like we can do anything against that. They're just gonna join and screw us. Look how many more rebels are coming. Low legitimacy, negative stability. I mean, the, the stability I... <laughs> look at minus three. This is just such a tragedy. But yeah, we need to start increasing it to get rid of at least some of those rebels. At least I can white piece Kazakh. So there will be still more advice after this. Now we need to deal with the other vassals. Uh, there goes the coalition war. Yeah, this is a truly ruined save game. So in this war, we are fighting with all of those guys. <laughs> right now we are only waiting for the Ottomans to attack us as well. <laughs> yeah, the way I will start building spy network on the Portugal. I can't because they are... On the Pole because they are ahead in the techs. So, with the spy network, I will be able to get some tech discounts once I hit Diplotech 9. This is my savior. Minus 2 corruption from the spy at the interaction. So, it will be at least thanks to this slowly decreasing that, but also once I end the bankruptcy, I will be spending more on rooting out corruption. More rebels, yeah, look at this. This doesn't look good. But still, trust me, we'll fix it. Ottomans indeed declared the war, but not against us, but against the Mamluks. So that's gonna be a little bit useful against our coalition. Now we filed the bankruptcy, and with increased stability to minus one, let's get it to zero. With this stability and no bankruptcy, we are spending only 18 ducats of interest. That's still tons of money, but it's not that. That's tragic. Anyway, we'll probably end up with another bankruptcy today, so I'm gonna go and start fully rooting out corruption. Rain fire! Sire, our troops just do it! Another war? <laughs> this time it's Delhi attacking us. So in this third war we are fighting with Delhi and Gujarat. Very unfortunate, so let's think how we can get out of one of these wars. What if we try peacing out Ethiopia? What do those guys want? They want 100% peace. Not gonna happen. But what if we give them... Let's kill this peace deal. What if we give them... No, they don't want anything in Akkoyun loan. Okay, we will fight then. Let me go and take another loan. And I'm gonna start building up an army around here, as the current combat with is... 25. Okay, I'm gonna go and start building an army, which is 15 and 10. And let's build them around here. Well, I'll finally have a stack with which I can start fighting the battles. Of course, I'll be slightly over my force limit, 
but that's all right. Now it's all about winning the battles, especially with the coalition, because the war goal is to win the battles. And I'm gonna go and try doing so and simply wide piecing them. And this amount of the wars is actually not that bad because with most of the rebels, I'm not fighting. It's my enemies fighting with them. Let's see Delhi's army quality. Shift considered before joining the battle. Scorch, because they're gonna try reinforcing through my mana. And remember that Scorching Earth is going hostile movements with 50%. That's why there's no chance we're gonna reinforce it. And I should even stack by them because the army cult is not that good. Easy? Easy. Now, those guys are running to Temes and God. There's no sense to attack them on the mountains. And right now I'm gonna go and focus on getting Georgia's capital. And this is because Ottomans are no longer giving them Kondo tier. So that should be easier to get it back. Remember that rushing forts on this patch is super easy. So I'm just gonna go here and rush the Georgian capital right away because this is a war goal. So it's gonna be tons of the war score for taking it. Why I'm just gonna lose richly three, four, maybe five thousand of troops on this siege. Yep. Just stop it. And this made this war score zero. And we have the ticking war score. So we need to start occupying some of those provinces to get to the positive war score, which shouldn't be big of a problem for us. As Indians are pushing hard, I need to get rid of the War of George ASAP. That's why I'm gonna go and rush another fort. Which shouldn't be also big of a problem. That hurts a little bit more, of course, because it's a level 2 fort, but we still got it. Now they have medium attitude, so we're getting them really cool. Really close. We only need to wipe this out of this war. So I'm just gonna go and cramp position a few of those princes over here. And that's gonna be totally enough for me to go and finally focus on the Indians. So one stack will be taking care of the Indians. This stacks will be taking care of the coalition. And the coalition is also on a very good way to get at least white beast. But I promise you guys, I'm just gonna completely annihilate you later. Okay, out of this war. Let's go and stop the Indians from pushing us on the east. Another success with 39% of war score from winning battles and 7 from taking war score. I can white piece this war. They really don't want to fight it anymore. So thank you so much. Now we are left with a couple of rebels. Really, a couple of rebels. And Indians. <sighs> oh, age ability. Let's just go for the province war score cost and let's start the golden era. This is gonna be definitely helpful to come back from this situation. With another religious interaction, we are down to 6.4 corruption already. So what I'm taking from this stupid war over here, mainly my claims and most importantly, two trade centers, so I can add them to the trade company, which will 100% end up with additional merchant that I'll get over here. On top of that, 1.2 thousand nuggets and war reparations. So this way, it will also help us with the money, money, money situation. Just send the peace deal, it wasn't also that much of a guess, expansion. And I'm just gonna go and add, let's see our gaff capacity. Let's just add the trade centers to the trade company. So this one. This one, ah, it's my region. I can't add those two, but let's see. Maybe those would be enough. And if not, I'll just add a few additional provinces to the trade company. Then I'm just gonna go and set up the rivals, which is gonna be Muscovy, and it's gonna be the Ottomans. And uh, we will need to just scumfu insult one of those rivals. So just go and do that on Muscovy, because this way we're gonna go and get up to 50 power projection to get even more mana. Income is slowly gonna be increased, and uh, I'm just thinking, do I really have to go bankrupt. I don't think I do. I mean, I could, but I don't think I have to do so. Anyway, let's just go and start with the cruising economy. Because unfortunately, because of the war, we yeah kept increasing that in all of the stated provinces. That's gonna be a hell of the rebels, but that's the pain that I'll have to go through in order to fix this country. So after decreasing this autonomy. Oh, that's more than I thought. Yeah, that's pretty much all of the stated provinces were at on the runs 20 autonomy because of the war. But thanks to this, now our income is 89. And what I can do is to seize the land. But before I seize the land, I'm just gonna sell the titles. Seize land, so it's right now at 5%. And then we'll be going to increase it even higher because at the peacetime, you can see it needs a month tick, but it's gonna be 
actually staying at zero. So that's good news for us. And this amount of the money, I was charged with repaying some of those loans to decrease the amount we are paying for the interest. And then I will simply go and turn off all of the forts. And we've turned off army. Ta -da! We are earning money. But that's just the beginning. There goes the knife merchant, which I'm gonna simply go and send to Doab, because I'm Lahore and taking everything. Of course, you can't have any rest to fix the country, right? We had been declared by yet another the coalition. So it's worth all of these countries. It doesn't look really bad, we just need to win the battles. What is bad about this coalition is this. Our phenomenon will keep increasing. I can take the new ICTA policy, which is definitely gonna be Liberty Desire in the subjects, which helps a little bit of this situation. I'm not gonna white piece them this time. This time I'm gonna fix my borders with them a little bit by taking a couple of provinces, mainly over here. Full money would be 25 targets for killing how many? 75,000 troops. So I'm just gonna go and take those few provinces. This is fine, doesn't hurt us. And we'll be slowly fixing the borders around the Middle East. As we are anyway nowhere close to get the institutions, it's spreading slowly in some of the provinces but it's gonna take a decade at least to embrace it so do not hit the points cap in the near future i'm gonna embrace the 10th admin deck that cost me like 450 so that's fine and i'm gonna unlock the new idea group which is gonna be maybe not quantity because we don't really have money to maintain our army so just go and unlock quality ideas and i'll start taking them, which even is giving me <laughs> innovativeness, but I'm not gonna keep it. Success! We finally got rid of the whole corruption, so we can start playing. And let's fix the power projection by sending, unfortunately not as confluence because I don't have prestige, but a normal insult to Russians. Yet another success, we just hit 100 income, which is tragic for this year. Actually, Ottomans started liking us. I used this to make a royal marriage with them, so institution will start now spreading in all of our borders and faster, while in India, Bahmanis would like to become our religious dice, but it's fine, our ally. So now, I don't think any other coalition will happen. This is another great news. I can just pay for the loyalty of merchant guilds this allows me to cancel the monetary policy. Of course, I'll no longer get the interest per annum, production efficiency, but all power cost is something that hurts far more. And instead of that, I'm gonna take 1% loans, which is 4,000 ducats. Instead of this 1% loans, I'm gonna repay maybe not all of our candles, but let's decrease the loan amount to 10. And on top of that, ooh, I don't really have any buildings to get. Only the manufacturers. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna use it to increase some centers of trade. About that, as I'm not annexing all of those vassals, let's just divert trade from all of them. And let's see how it's gonna affect our income. It's 37.89, it's 47 point C. So that's a fairly nice increase, but all of them are right now disloyal. And I can check another thing here which is gonna be mercenary discipline because I'm actually using free company over here to deal with the rebels. There we go, trying to embrace the institution. But remember, I embraced colonialism, but we still don't have the printing press. But that's fine, I can take at least two free techs at the same time on the admin, which will give me more money, which will give me the GAF capacity and also unbalanced research. Uh, but I'm just gonna take those two techs in a very second because this costs 260 and this costs 270 so That's not a problem. I could have waited a little bit, but that's all right Now you might think how the hell I can take a tech for 260 power points. Well First of all, we have a bonus in our national ideas Then it's a neighbor bonus. So there's a neighbor that is having three techs ahead of us. That's the Ottomans Then there's legalism which is giving us another bonus. There is Timurid Renaissance, which is another 5%. There's Golden Era, Innovativeness, and finally Spy Network on Apollo, because we are free techs behind Apollo, so it's minus 15% tech cost. And we could even get it lower by making loyalty of Dimi higher. So let me actually wait for that before I take the tech. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and take 10th tech for both to decrease my unbalanced research, and now, before I'll take another technologies, 
I want to finish my trade and quality ideas for those policies. My annexation progress of Kazakh is 99%, so I could theoretically just wait for them to finish, but I'm gonna use my favorite feature, which is of course concentrate development. So right now it's a hundred tool. Of course that is loyal because of this, but as it's over a hundred percent, they're gonna be automatically annexed within the month tick. So we keep fixing those borders. My peace deal against the Mamluks. Yes, fixing the borders. That's the only goal. You can see that I will update this. Yes, it's only about fixing the hormones right now. As soon as I found 50% cheaper advisors, or three of them, I'm working with a better level. So it's 11, 12, 9th of mana generation right now. Another fixing borders, this time the peace deal against Hormuz. And you can see that I can pretty much fully annex them without much of a gas expansion. And just take a look at this beauty. Now I can finish the trade ideas. That gives me <laughs> corruption bonus, additional merchant and two policies for trade divisions and I want to take both of them to show you the power of the trade income and I'm also gonna start transferring trade power from Decam. So thanks to those changes our income will not be 141 but let's wait a month think that's gonna be 163 of income and we are just getting started. I'm not even close to get the institution but I can take this tech to not hit the points cap. This is 346 plus, for plus 30% technology. And that unlocks me new idea group, which is going to be humanist. To get rid of any of the rebels happening in the country, it can take the first two ideas right away, which you can see got rid of most of the rebels already. This is very beautiful. And at the same time, I can take the mill tech for literally 200 points. So let's just do it. And another one for 260 points, so we are almost up to date with it. I didn't see this earlier! Exclusive trade rights! That's autonomy, minimum autonomy trade centers. Let me freaking get rid of it. That shouldn't be another bonus to our income. Look at this, Diplotech for 167 power points. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, I think the safe is right now in a perfect condition. To do an easy world conquest honestly this is just an easy world conquest personally i would go for the mughal formation for the world conquest you just only need delhi to do so fix the borders definitely fix the economy fix the ideas fix the text now you have to focus on getting the printing press but that shouldn't be a big problem just maybe expand into europe into your rivals poland and russia to do so and hey guys if you enjoyed this episode and you like to get more ruined campaigns in the future Remember to give a like on this video and I'm gonna see you very soon.